Welcome back to the Bitcoin Hardware Store channel. Today, I want to introduce you to Blockstream's new and updated Bitcoin signing device. This is the Jade Plus. With an aluminum build, a larger screen, and a new way to sign your Bitcoin transactions, the Jade Plus presents an amazing solution for new and advanced users alike. So whether you're upgrading your Bitcoin security or just dipping your toes into self-custody, we think the Jade Plus might be what you're looking for. Let's unbox the device and see how it works. So one of my favorite things about the Jade Plus is that it can be used in an air-gapped fashion. This is awesome if I have my mobile phone because it's really easy to pair up with something like the Blockstream app. With the larger screen and the existing camera that we had already seen in the previous Jade, it's really easy to use the Jade Plus with wallet softwares that support PSBTs or partially signed Bitcoin transactions. So let's get into how we set up the Jade Plus using the mobile app Blockstream Bitcoin Wallet. So here we are, I've got in front of me the Jade Plus. Just going to take it out and hope that it has some battery in it. I'm just going to power it on using this button here and we should see it come to life. There we go. Perfect. Immediately you are met with a setup Jade screen. I can easily click into that and see that the Jade is gonna offer me to view all, the, all of the instructions to set up this Jade at blockstream.com slash Jade. I'm just going to click continue because I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's begin the setup and create a new wallet. These are the words to our wallet. We should always keep them protected and offline. So that is what I will do. And now I see my recovery phrase. So I'm just gonna follow along with the Jade to write these words down and keep them completely offline. Please never take a picture of this. Don't put it on an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Doc. If anybody hacks your cloud, then they have access to your Bitcoin. So write these down. And in the future, think about getting a metal backup. So let me go ahead and write all these 12 words down in order. The sequence is extremely important for you when you're recovering your Bitcoin wallet. And you can just click this arrow to move to the next page. Now that I have my 12 words, I'm just going to go to the next page here and go through the test. I highly recommend that you go through this test so that you can ensure that you have written down your 12 words in the right order. Never skip the test. Great. So now we're at the stage where we can select how we want to use our Jade with whatever companion app or wallet software we want to use. So I can connect the Jade using USB, Bluetooth, or QR code. And because I want to keep it air gapped, meaning that I don't want to connect it through a cable or Bluetooth to a device connected to the internet, I'm going to select the QR option. So I can simply scroll down and click QR. Now, I can scan this QR code using my mobile phone, which should take me to the Blockstream website. There we go. So I can continue on my Jade, enter the pin. So I am completely setting up a pin here. So with this pin, it's extremely important that you do remember it. And this is something that allows you to protect yourself from attackers, right? If I steal the Jade, I still need to get into the pin to access the private keys within the device. And I need that in order to spend funds out of my wallet. If you at any point forget your pin, you can reset the device and start all over. But again, the most important thing to have written down and backed up 
will always be your seed phrase. So always keep that safe. Great, so now that I've set up and confirmed my pin, I can click done on this website, scan the QR code, and now it's going to tell me to scan this with my Jade. So on my Jade, I'm gonna click that little check mark, check mark and scan my mobile phone. Great. So just like that, I am in and I have my Jade all set up and I have a few options. So I can get rid of this screen. I will need it in the future if I ever need to log in to the device again, which I presume I will need. So you can bookmark the page on your mobile phone and have it accessible. The Jade will always show you the QR code of the web page that you need to go to to interact uh, with the website and the device uh, to get past the pin entering. But yeah, it's always a good idea to just bookmark it so that you have easy access to it. So now let's connect this to Blockstream's mobile app. This is the Blockstream Bitcoin wallet app. It used to be called Green, so make sure that if you're downloading this for the first time, you're looking for Blockstream Bitcoin wallet. Once you have it installed, you can, you can simply open the app and you'll be greeted with two buttons here, get started and connect Jade. So I can simply click connect Jade and again, and the Blockstream Wallet app will ask me if I want to enable the Bluetooth or if I want to connect via QR. As I said before, I want to always use the QR codes and I can select that my Jade is already unlocked. Now I can simply import the public key to the app, but before that, I need to select that I want to export the public key from this device. So I'm going to go into my Options tab, go into Wallet, and click Export XPUB. Now this will show me the QR code that is my public key. So I can click Continue and scan that information. Just like that, I'm in. I have access to my Bitcoin addresses and my Bitcoin wallet on my Blockstream app. So now I can simply transact and send and receive Bitcoin. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just receive some Bitcoin into this app or my wallet, and then I'll send it back out using my Blockstream Jade Plus. Okay, so what we've done here is that we've received some Bitcoin into the wallet. And just so that I can demonstrate that you can or how it works to send Bitcoin back out of the wallet, Although this is an unconfirmed transaction, I can still obtain a receiving address and create and sign the next transaction with my Jade. And then you'll see how it all works. So let's get into it here. I'm going to first grab a receiving address that is also mine. I'm going to click send, paste, and select a fee after selecting how much Bitcoin I want to send. So I'm going to click send all and select a high priority fee. Now I can simply click next. So here I've got my Jade Plus. I can turn it on here. And I'm going to select QR mode on the right. And I'm going to look for the QR pin unlock here. and continue. Now I can input my PIN, and now that I have this QR code, I can sign the transaction via QR.
And now that I'm in the Jade, I can click Next and scan QR. And just like that, we sent off the transaction. So after using this device for the first time, I must say it actually is really easy to set up the device and sign AirGap transactions. The big screen makes things really easy, legible, the QR codes are extremely readable, and I highly recommend taking a look at the Blockstream Jade Plus if you're an advanced user in the Bitcoin space or you're just dipping your toes into self-custody. So if you have any questions about Bitcoin, whether it's about this specific device and its advanced features, please let us know. You can book a free call with us in the description below. So if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with your family and friends or anybody else that might need some Bitcoin guidance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next quick tutorial.